If you're happy and you know we clap your hands. If you're happy and you know we clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it that you're happy and you know we clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, say I'm happy. I'm happy. If you're happy and you know it, say I'm happy. I'm happy. If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show you that you're happy and you know it, say I'm happy. I'm happy. Hey. Welcome to the story time video with Miss Esther. Hello, Ivy. Yes, Mom. So I have an interesting story I want to tell you and our beautiful friends out there. And the title of my story, can you read it out loud, is... Catch me if you can. Beautiful. Catch me if you can. Amazing. So let's get right into this story. Wow. The story is about a fish called Terence. Okay? Okay. Once there was a fish called Terence who was feeling very sad. Can you show me your sad face? <laughs> he longed to swim just like his friends and he longed to impress his dad. Ever since he could remember, Terence had only one wish to win the cup his dad had won and to be the fastest fish. Ooh. Wow. Terence was very determined. Wow. He wanted to stand out. He wanted to be good at swimming. But there was a problem for Terence. The problem for Terence was that no matter how hard he tried, instead of swimming straight ahead, he waggled from side to side like this. Instead of swimming straight, he was going from side to side. Let's see what happened to Terence. The last race that Terence had entered, his dad sat in the crowd. This is a brilliant chance, thought Terence, to make my dad so proud. He was so determined to make his dad proud. He said, this is a brilliant chance to make my dad so proud. Where is the mom? The mom? They never spoke about the mom in the story. Probably the mom was in the kitchen cooking or she went out for a daily business. Okay? Terence darted off with a splash. He dived further than the rest. Can you see the fishes at the back? And Terence, let's show our friends the fish. Look at Terence the fish. And look at the other fishes. But Terence had just one problem. Instead of going forward, he waggled from side to side. Oh, oh, that's so sad. Soon, Terence was falling behind. He had no chance of winning. If Terence didn't speed up, yeah. he would be back at the beginning. Mom, mom. Let's find out at the end of the story. Terence kept on swimming. He wiggled his fins so fast. He was so sure he was going to win. But there was something that happened. Let's find out. Terence finally finished and listened for all the cheers. He listened for all the cheers. He wanted people to clap for him and say, oh, go Terence, go Terence. But guess what happened? They did boom. If you were the one, would you be happy? Would you be happy if, you have, if people did not clap for you when you did something, even if you did not win and they don't clap for you, will you be happy? That was the same thing. Look at Terence, he was so sad. Look at Terence's sad face. Terence was so sad. I wouldn't be happy if it was. Dad swam over to Terence and said, Come on now, cheer up, son. Don't take it all too seriously. Swimming should be fun. Learning is fun. <laughs> yes. So the dad came and told him, Come on, cheer up, son. Swimming should be fun. fun. 
but something needed to change. It was plain for everyone to see. Luckily, Dad had worked out what that simple change should be. Do you know what that change was? Mm -mm. Okay, I'll tell you. He said to Terence, you can do it. I know that you won't fail. You just need to move your fins at the same time as your tail. He told Terence, as you're moving your fins, be moving your tails as well. That is the only way you can move ahead instead of from what? Side to side. Beautiful. And the dad told him, he said, when I was young, I wasn't as fast as other fish. Then I used my tails and my fins together and soon I got my wish. My wish. So, Terence started practicing. No matter what the weather, even if it was sunny, if it was raining, Terence went out there to practice all because he wanted to make his daddy proud. He wanted to be the what? Fastest fish. Woo! Let's see if he later became the fastest fish. And then he listened to instructions from his dad. When you're in school and you're learning, you need to listen to your teacher because they know best. Listen to instructions, read your books, and practice. That is the only way you can be the best in your classroom. Okay? Okay. That's the only way you can be the best in your classroom. By listening. By doing what? Listening. Beautiful. Now, it was time for the race day. It was time for the what? Race, race day. The second race day. Let's see if Terence won this time around. On the day of the race, Terence said, I will swim so fast. But you guess what happened? The other fishes were laughing at him. Is it good to laugh at people? No, they were laughing at him. And what he said to them, I will be the fastest fish. And then the swordfish, look at the swordfish. The one that would say, on your marks, get set, and go! Look at Terence. Look at the other fishes at the back. Look at starfish. Look at the octopus. Look at Terence. And Terence went so fast and left all of them behind. Look at, look at him. Look at them. <laughs> after, laughing, after laughing at him and saying he was going to be the last, he was the first. At the point, he was going to the left. Let's go to the left together. To the left and to the right. To the left and to the right. And until then, he moved forward. Boom. Look at him. He jumped above the water line and the most surprising side. Terence was like a torpedo. He shot over the line and he wow! was he won <laughs> he was determined he practiced he listened to his dad's instructions and finally he won cool if you want to be a winner you need to be determined you need to practice you need to listen to instructions from people who have done what you want to achieve and you will do what win, win. beautiful and the dad was so proud of him. The dad came out and shouted to the dad there. He was smiling so hard. He said, I'm so proud of you, son. And when you do that, when you pass your exams, when you be a good boy and be a good girl, I always tell you that, Ivy, I am so proud of you. Beautiful. I'll tell you, I'm so proud of you. And that's the same thing mommy and daddy is going to tell you. Even your teachers in school will tell you that they're so proud of you because you have done wow. well. And look at all the fishes. Look at, look at them looking at Terrence. Look at them. Even when people tell you, oh, what if you can't do it? You say, that's not true. What if you're too young? That's not true. Why? Because I can do anything I put my mind to. And look at what Terence told the dad. He said, thank you, daddy, for always believing in me. You always see the good that nobody else can see. This is for our parents out there. Always believe in your children 
and always cheer them up even when they feel sad and feel down and feel like they cannot do it give them that encouragement and see them shine. and that is the end of this beautiful story about terence who wanted to be the fastest fish and did he finally become the fastest fish yes mom why how did that happen because he listened to instructions he listened to instructions he was what determined, determined. and he practiced and finally he became the world's fastest fish beautiful beautiful i hope you learned something from the story today yes. what i learned from the story is i learned to be determined what did you learn from my story today i learned that it's good to listen listen good it's good to listen attentively when you're in the classroom listen to what your teacher is saying when daddy and mommy says do this do that you do what do it listen and do it <laughs> all right so we come your way next time Bye for now. Bye.